if you know Gary Vaynerchuk or Gary V, you know that this guy is an absolute powerhouse. He's on every social media platform there is and maybe every one there ever has been. It's pretty impressive. And he says that he can help you do the same thing by following a content model that he says makes you more prolific in less time. And while I'm absolutely sure that that's true, I have to ask, is it practical? So today I'm going to talk about the Gary V content strategy. We're going to look at how practical it is from a small business person's perspective or a solopreneur's perspective. And I think by the end of this video, you're going to be able to make a decision for yourself about whether this is something you should pursue or not. My name is Trent Canelli. I'm a marketing strategist. And on this channel, I talk about all the things that you can do to improve your business through marketing, sales, and analytics. So if that sounds good to you and you're excited, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're into it, comment and let me know how you feel about the Gary V content strategy or Gary V in general. I'd love to know. And then stick around until the end to figure out how you can get a free consultation with me. I'll tell you all about that at the end or to get a checklist guide that walks through all the features of the major social media platforms so you can decide which one you want to be on. Until then, let's get started. So let's first talk about what it is and then we'll figure out if it's practical. So effectively, it's an upside down pillar pyramid approach where he has at the top his pillar content, which is his podcast or Daily V or his talks that he gives on stage at different places. He's always giving speeches and it takes, it's all of that information. So that's his pillar content. Then he takes that content and he breaks it apart. He breaks it into all these really small chunks, maybe minute long clips or quotes as images or whatever. And then at the bottom, he posts it, okay? So he takes all of those things and he just puts them everywhere. So effectively, he's taking big content and he is splintering it across all social media channels, which is pretty smart. I think that that makes a lot of sense. So now let's talk about if it's practical. If you follow this exactly, like you follow the Bible of Gary Vee, it is almost impossible to do this if you don't have a dedicated team for it. If you're a solopreneur or you're a small business that can't afford a social media manager, honestly, it's just not possible. Let's just break it down a little bit further. So first off, you're creating very long content or a lot of 15 to 20 minute videos, and you're putting those out two or three times a week, right? Do you have time for that? I don't have time for that. I have time for one five to 15 minute video a week because I have other work to do otherwise. I can't afford to spend all of my time on social media. I wish I could, it's fun, but I don't have the ability to do that. He's also basing a lot of his small content on that long content, right? Which means that you need to have a huge library of long content to break apart. So unless you've been doing this for a long time, you don't have that either. It also depends on the type of content. So Gary V is actually speaking to a lot of groups of people. Those groups ask him a lot of questions. And the benefit of this for him is that it allows for long discussions. It increases the fluidity of the conversation. It allows topics to flow a little bit more smoothly. And it's probably true that he doesn't have to come up with a lot of the topics as that's the case because people are doing it for him. You probably don't have that. There aren't enough people that you know yet who are gonna bring you on and have you do speeches like that. When you do, this is gonna be a lot easier, but for now, without a dedicated team, without a lot of speeches to give, uh, with you having to come up with all the content yourself, it just doesn't make any sense. All right, so let's assume you've got all the content you need. You still have to go through all that content and find the snippets that you want. You have to watch your content probably several times until you find the right snippets. You have to cut them appropriately. You have to organize them. Anything that you want to turn into an image, you need to spend more time finding the image and photoshopping it together. Getting everything ready for each platform is a huge drain because it's not the same every time. It's actually totally different. Every platform is different. There are different size requirements. There are different file sizes, different responses to different styles, etc. So you need to change everything. Sometimes captions are required for optimization too. It just, it really depends on the platform, which means that every single platform needs to be customized individually. So do you have the ability to do that? We have to come back to that. Do you have the ability to optimize for 10 or 15 platforms or even four platforms? I don't. Again, this is why I say two to three social platforms at a time or you're going to bury yourself without a team. Last thing, posting is time consuming. It's not something that you can just snap your fingers and make happen. You have to schedule it and some things you can schedule and some things you can't and some things you have to schedule in certain places. So for instance, LinkedIn videos. You cannot schedule a LinkedIn video. You can't do it on their app. You can't do it somewhere else. You have to do it in real time. There's no way to schedule it. So you have to be there when you want to post it at that moment, ready to do it. So if you're busy, you have to stop what you're doing. If you want to schedule an IGTV video, 
you can't do that anywhere except in the Facebook Creator Studio system. So you can't use later.com or Agora Pulse or something else to make that work. You have to do it in their system, which ends up sending you all over the place, right? Because you're not just doing it in one system anymore. You're in five or six different systems just to get all of that social media out. Add to that that you want to have a personalized and unique experience for people on each platform so that you avoid making people feel like, oh, you're just putting the same thing everywhere. That means you have to mix up that content. So you need a system that allows you to be able to plan all of that. And there is no scheduler that can do all of that. It just doesn't exist. It is technologically not possible due to company restrictions at the moment. So you can't give people that in the knownness without doing it yourself and having your own schedule, which also takes time, right? So taking all of that together, trying to schedule it out, trying to map out what you want to put where and when and trying to get that thing scheduled when you need it to. It just, it takes too much time. You don't have time to do anything else. So back to the question, is it practical? No, unless you have a dedicated social media person that's there for 40 or 50 or 60 hours a week willing to put in this time to do all the social media for you, there is no physical way that you can get all of this done unless you are the most efficient person I have ever met in my life. I think I'm pretty efficient. I can't come close to that, okay? So, and that, that even ignores the fact that you have to interact with people who like your posts and comment on your posts. On all of these different platforms, you have to interact with people who you haven't met before so that they come to your posts. All of this stuff that builds these social medias, you have to do it all or you don't grow anyway. And so it's not just about developing all those posts, it's about so much more than that that you just don't have time for, or at least I don't. All right, so it's not practical, but can you adapt it? Absolutely, you can adapt this. So I've told you in videos before, check out this video if you want more information, to use two or three social profiles and no more than that, because you're gonna overflow yourself, you're not gonna be able to manage it all, and especially with everything that I just gave you in that fear factor section just a second ago, there is absolutely no way for you to do that all without it being a full-time job. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna basically do the same idea, which is just take a broad idea or a broad amount of content and you splinter it as much as possible. But you can do it with not just the content you have, but the ideas you have as well. So develop those big ideas and see how you can break them into smaller ideas. See how you can simplify them. Take certain concepts and use those. Splinter it as much as possible. That allows you to have a lot more to work off of. And then find out how you can build this quickly. So can you make a lot of short videos? Can you make images fairly quickly? What can you do to get this content out quickly? Because it's not just about quality, though quality is extremely important. Quantity on most of these channels actually does matter. So you wanna make sure that the quality is there and the quantity of posts are there to make sure that people are getting something out of what you have and they're getting the consistency of you having more content out on a regular basis. That's gonna help you to grow because people are gonna build trust that they're gonna have more content from you when they expect it. So the reason this is more practical is because you're limiting the number of social media sites, you're limiting the amount of time that you're spending on social media per week, and you know what you can handle. So if you know that you can only do one social media site, do one social media site and do it really, really well. If you know you can do two or three, then that's great, good for you. But you know it and you know what your content is like and you know how much time it takes to put out. It's different for everybody. This is gonna help you to understand how to move forward and be more effective on those sites. It is the Gary Vee strategy, it's just pared down and adapted to what you can handle. There you go, I hope that was helpful for you to kind of figure out whether the Gary V model works for you. I think it makes a lot of sense for pretty much everybody as long as you break it down into a simpler form, but that big form, it just doesn't make any sense. There's no way for you to be able to practically do that. If you want a little more practical information, on social media sites and which ones you can take advantage of and which ones are gonna work best for you. I have kind of, you can kind of think of it like a pricing page <laughs> check sheet where I just have a, a list of the social media platforms and what works best for each and what doesn't. So check that out in my description. Otherwise, you can check out in my description my other giveaway, which I do every single week to a business that's really in need. So if you are a business that can't afford a marketing strategist right now, I'm giving away one hour completely free of marketing services to you, no strings attached at all. You won't even be in my mailing list. This is a totally separate list that I'm not gonna pitch you on. So please make sure that you check that out in the description uh, if you're interested in that. All you have to do is go to my website, give me a little pitch as to what you need, 
like, comment, and subscribe on this video as well. And I will make sure that I take a look at you and I'll let you know pretty quickly uh, if we're gonna move forward or not. Otherwise, if this video was helpful for you, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.